Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Go! And they're off. 14 solar powered vehicles racing through four states, ending in Bend, Oregon. National and international schools compete in the American Solar Challenge with two different classes and a variety of styles and techniques. This car is a, an asymmetrical design, so we have the, the pilot on this side, we have the battery pack on that side to balance the weight of the car. The biggest difference for us is that we moved from a single occupant vehicle, so some of the single passengers that you see around here, to a multi-occupant vehicle. Officials launched each car one by one across the start line. From there, they'll travel through Nebraska, Wyoming, Idaho, and finally Oregon. Loosely following the Oregon Trail, it's a 1,700-mile race all powered by the sun. Uh, we are able to get about 1,200 watts of power from that, which is about the equivalent of a toaster oven. Uh, we worked uh, on this for like a year on the design side of things, and then we built it for almost eight months and then tested it for another four months. With cloudy days ahead, their energy source is not at its peak. Uh, on a day like today, uh, where we do not have much energy coming from the sun, we use the energy coming from the battery pack. But the cars are built to last, proving solar-powered vehicles may be more commonly used in the near future. It's really built around practicality, so it's to prove that this is a form of transportation that we could use today. And who doesn't get excited about seeing a car rolling on solar? In Omaha, Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7. Science in action. Again, the race will end in Bend, Oregon. It honors the 50th anniversary of the National Trail System and 175 years of the Oregon Trail.